it is still a very strong film about family bonding as well. I think June's going to be an interesting month. Pan Singh Tomar, the Tigmanchu Dhulia's film, has been in making for quite some time. In fact, the last time around when we spoke to you, uh, we spoke about that film as well. He's had, uh, I think, a very fine film uh, l last year and uh, Sahib Baby, a, a gangster. Tell us something about Pan Singh Tomar. Pan Singh Tomar is actually one of the most fascinating stories we've ever encountered. It's a story of someone who was in the Indian Army, who ran for India, who represented India uh, via the Army at various sports events across the world, won medals for the country, and then finally went back to his, uh, to his family in the Chambal and had to become a baghi, had to become a dacoit because of the surroundings and because of what happened with him there. There was a news report recently and uh, comparisons were being drawn with Bhag Milka Bhag, that is Farhan's and uh, Rakesh Mehra's film and uh, Pan Singh Tomar because of, 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 the, of the racer factor in fact. You know, Pan Singh is about an athlete who became a dacoit. Ji. In that sense, Milka it's, it's totally was an athlete. So in that sense, they are very different stories but naturally they were both athletes. Uh, they're both biopics in a sense. So naturally, I, I think there will be comparisons. But Pan Singh is a very different story. Love Shafte Chicken Kurana, that is, that is a Samir Sharma's film. I think uh, that one is uh, very appetizing, looks very appetizing. Tell us something about this film. I think because this is a very, very trademark UTV thing that you, you, you always come up with uh, nice, I think, smaller films which remain in the minds of people for uh, quite a few years. We've had a Odan, we've had a Mumbai Meri Jaan and, and so many of others, in fact. Tell us something about Love, Love Shafte Chicken Kurana. Love Shav is a script that was uh, brought to us by Anurag Kashyap and he just asked us to read it. We read it, we fell in love with the script completely and we said we have to make this movie. There have been very few few food films in India and food forms an integral part of our cultural fabric. I mean, in every state, every, uh, you know, every sect of Indian culture, okay. food has is always an integral part of any family experience. But I don't think we've ever had a film that's centered around food. It's about food, it's about family, it's about love, it's about redemption. Okay. It's about a lot of beautiful qualities. So while it is a comedy on the surface, it is still a very strong film about family bonding as well and about... Um, one of the black sheep turned white. Uh, so very, very interesting script. Then comes Rowdy Rathor. I think you, you guys showed a 15 second clip over there at Dishum Nishum 2012, um, interestingly called. But I think Akshay Kumar, he looks different. Uh, we have seen him, I think he's been repeating himself quite often of late. But this uh, is the knuckles and the entire thing, you know, it has a moment to it. And one, one looks forward yeah. to you Akshay know, Kumar uh, in this. Rowdy is a really interesting one. It's a film that was a hit in two languages already, Tamil and Telugu. Yeah. And we're remaking it in Hindi now. And Akshay goes back to the zone that he's he's been famous for that he made his name in it's again a great script really strong hero strong villains lovely love story as well great action i think june's going to be an interesting month june 15th yeah it is going to be talash and rauli rathor a span of a fortnight in fact okay and when is the promo coming out two months before the release what about burfi promo when is when is that coming to two months, months before the two release months before we the usually release. stick to that sort of time frame i mean of course if we've got a teaser then probably a little bit earlier but these are movies that are releasing in june and july so you'll see a lot of action around them in the next few months right. i've heard a rumor that uh, that uh, your name is going as a producer for burfi uh tell me about it i've it's a, it's a new one it's just a rumor that i that i heard when it comes to rowdy rathor akshay kumar and uh, prabhu deva is, is there he's had a wanted off late looks very interesting you know Akshay has had a, a spate of comedies of late, in fact, and uh, this is uh, action wo hamesha wo jane jate hain khiladi ke liye. And uh, he's, he's getting back into that. And the, and the best part is, it's, it's not a regular thing. You know, he's having a mustache and he's, he's looking totally different from uh, what he's been looking of late, in fact. Ek jo bodyguard ka ek jo fever is tarikhe se ban gaya hai, ya se ek kuch tak dawn ka fever bana tha, ya gajni ka ek fever bana tha. So can we see that with, with Rowdy as well? Who knows? I think it, it'll be up to us to create the hype. But I, I think Rowdy is going to be one of the most looked forward to movies as, as the trailer breaks. Uh, it's one of those hardcore action movies. Akshay is looking superb in his new look. It's the sort of film he hasn't done in a long time. So audiences are really looking forward to it. And with the few posters that we've released so far, right. with the very 70s uh, like art, we've got a fabulous response to those. In fact, I think that the entire single screen culture is back in a big, big way. In fact, we've seen it with, with Agnipath recently and we've seen it with a lot of other movies, Bodyguard and yeah. Singh and all sorts of stuff so I think that is something which will be part of your marketing strategy as well that just just focusing a certain target group it will I, with, with Rowdy we obviously will go very very wide so single screens will be a massive part of our strategy and the film lends itself to that so it will happen naturally Joker that is uh, Shirish Kundar's film starring Akshay Kumar once again so how has uh, Joker shaped up in it's, it's shaped up really well I mean we're, we're done with the shoot now there's a lot of post-production work on the film but I wouldn't like to say too much about it because there are things that I would have to reveal about the film by, by sort of telling you too much about it so I think just wait for August 
August and you'll see. Any uh, apprehension about the fact that uh, Tismar Khan, that is the last film that you did with, with Farah and, and Shirish, had a major backlash in fact. So any apprehensions that will you be just uh, ensuring that... Uh, in the film industry, you've got to give people the chance to fail or they won't try anything new. So we made Rangde Basanti after Ux uh, and that was a huge film for us at that point of time. But if a filmmaker comes to you with a script that works and has got a vision that you believe in, then you have to back him. Some movies will work, some some won't. Great. Uh, so that was Siddharth Roy Kapoor talking about uh, his slate of uh, UTV slate for 2012 and uh, what all we can see, look forward to in coming days and uh, 2013 as well. They have certain plans and they are not disclosing it as of now, which is understandable. So thank you very much for being on board. Thanks now. a lot for, for having have me. You. And uh, all the best wishes for uh, all your films in 2012. Thank you. That's all we have from Bollywood Keep on watching.